Hi, I'm Paweł Spychalski and I just love the videos when I can show you new stuff. Because everybody loves new stuff and because I'm getting new stuff from time to time, I just love it to show you and let's begin with this one. This is the Jumper T Light. You have no idea how long I waited to get my hands on the Jumper T Light. First, um, Banggood promised me to send this one, uh, failed to do so, and after two months I just said, no, 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 Banggood, no, no, we are not doing this like that, it makes no sense, luckily the Xtech Syntec company contacted me, would you like to get something, yeah, please send me the T-Light, and guess what, they were able to ship it to me in like one week, while it took more than two months for the Banggood to get one uh, that I could take my... I can take my hands on. So I'm quite interested in seeing this in detail in flight, how it behaves, how it feels and um, honestly I have to say that so far I am positively surprised because I expected the build quality to be much lower than it is. Okay, the, the sticker that covers the expansion port does not want to stay in place but overall the radio really fits nicely in hands and is quite rigid quite stiff nothing makes sound when you try to move it into directions so the first impressions are really good maybe i'm not the biggest fan of those four buttons for the navigation i'm always lost when trying to set up something and uh, if i know from the experience this nice plastic with the satin finish after two years will be just sticking to your hands and won't be great but maybe i'm wrong uh, this is a long endurance issue not something that i can check right now but overall um yeah if you are into small radios the jumper t light might actually be something to be interested in so so far so good Next, I got the package, I have not opened it, it's from Canada, it's a small packet, aka Petit Paquet, I'm sorry for butchering the French language, I'm really, really, really sorry, but when I just saw the Petit Paquet, I decided I have to say it with the fake French accent, sorry, and uh, this is the package I got from the Make Me Lab. Eric, uh, after I sent him some solder, uh, solder, 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 he decided to send me something else like the... and I have no idea what's really inside. Uh, he hinted that this is something with the electronics, no idea yet, so let's just open and let's just see. Oh, this is, this is nicely packed. Okay, okay, that's a lot of protection. Oh, fuzzy peach. Uh, gummies, nice, we'll try it later, then, okay, rescue air case, rescue air, okay, rescue and air, I like when something says both rescue and air, stickers, everybody loves stickers, right, everything is better with stickers, just like everything is better with bluetooth, uh, so we have a case, nicely cut, well, nicely, heavy cut, Acryl? Yeah, I think it's acryl. Okay, now, okay, rescue do-it-yourself kit, firmware, PCB, rescue v2. Okay, this is, this is something that I definitely will have to build one day. We have cables, we have antenna, we have, oh, there's even a GPS, come on, Eric, you're my hero. There's a GPS, some extra electronics that looks like... I have no idea how it looks like. Antennas, more stuff, more crap. Okay. Even the, whoa, there's even an SD card. No, this is only a <laughs> converter. Okay. Okay, now I'm really, really, really super, super interested. And I will definitely have to build this thing and see what this thing can do. So thank you very much, Eric, for the gift. That was definitely much more valuable uh, stuff than just some of the Polish special solder that I sent you. So thanks, mate. Highly appreciated. I will have a lot of fun. You see? www.makeme.org Kudos, mate. Really, 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 really kudos. Next, what do we have next? Oh yeah, we have a couple of flight controllers that I want to show you because uh, some of them are interesting and some of them are even 
slightly more interesting. Let's begin with the ZIS. I reviewed the first generation of the ZIS flight controller last year. Now there is a second generation and I have bought the 30x30mm and 20x20mm ZIS V2 targets 2021. This is the 30x30 flight controller design in Italy, made in China, because of course everybody, everything is made in China. And the 30x30 is nice because it's very much prepared to handle the integration with, for example, Crossfire with the small VTX. There is a dedicated space for the Crossfire receiver. You just put it, soldered it, everything is working great, everything is fantastic and it's working without much of the hassle and I like the first generation of the ZIS and the build I did back then with the ZIS V1 one was basically one of the simplest build I ever ever made because everybody fitted just perfectly and um, yeah, uh, but the more interesting I think is the... Uh, close, close yourself is the 20 by 20 millimeter version of this flight controller when they basically were able to put everything inside with still 20 by 20. I do not have the flight controller yet. No, wait, I have the 20 by 20 because 20 by 20 is already inside of my new 7 incher based on my new frame over there. Very simple build, everything nicely put together, you just plug in the 4-in-1, plug in the R unit or the Vista, solder the serial ports and you have this running. So, uh, but we will not talk about the quad, there will be a separate video about the quad. Let's concentrate on the flight controller. So, this. This is nice. And on top of this, there are two flight controllers from the Atom. One is Mamba, well, both are Mamba. One is... okay, okay. Okay, uh, one is the F405 Basic Mark III with the I2C broken out. And the second one is, of course, if we are talking about the 405, the, there also has to be the F722 because if making one, then just one not making both, which on the outside are basically the same, if not the fact that they have different MCUs and slightly different uh, characteristic because from the F722 you do not need any extra inverters. What's nice? Uh, one of the most interesting elements of those flight controllers, the new Mambas, is this series when there is a series of separate LEDs that indicates what's happening. Uh, you have a separate LED for the gyro, for the MCU, 5 volts, uh, 3 volts, and if one of the LEDs is off, you know that, well, maybe the 3.3 volt uh, voltage regulator is down or something like that. Can nicely improve the state of what's broken when it's broken. And also those flight controllers have integrated drivers for the LED strips. You do not have to use Beta Flight or Clean Flight or INAF or anything else to drive LED strips because with the press of the button over here you can change modes and the colors of the LEDs because there is a separate MCU that handles that. So Interesting choices and uh, almost like always reasonably priced. And by the way, those flight controllers will be fully supported by the upcoming INAF 3.0. That's very important. And finally for today, I have a new multimeter. Because multimeters are always cool and are also always useful devices. Uh, so I decided to replace my old and cheapish multimeter I have over here. So I got me the Unity UT61E+. Originally I wanted the Fluke, but then I checked of how much uh, the, even the basic model the Fluke is and no, I will not pay that much for the multimeter from Fluke when knowing how often I will be using this. I'm not an electrician, I'm using this maybe once uh, every few weeks to check something while I'm soldering. Electronics is not something I'm doing every day. So I decided to rather go with fancy functions uh, than with the brand, but on the other hand I have a lot of equipment from the Unity already, everything seems to be working fine. So I got me UT61E+, which 
Ah, true RMS is one thing that has this USB connector over here. So in theory, you can plug in a special cable which has the optical interface so that if you have a short circuit somewhere, you will not blow out your USB port. And you can connect this thing to the application and have the readings uh, on the screen of your PC. However, I failed to configure it. I have no idea what's wrong. The serial port is in theory detected, but the multimeter is not detected. It's not working. Still, as a multimeter, it's a nice, nice, nicely fits in your hands. Uh, have those slots for your probe, so it's nicely attached to places and uh, it's working just fine. If, but something that I don't like already. Uh, but this is, I think, uh, applies to all the unities. After you will put it in the mode, for example, I want to have it in the beeper, so I have to press the select button and then the it will turn off or I will turn off. It will not go back to the beeper mode. I have to one more time go into the beeper mode. So this is slightly irritating because I'm using the continuity checker beeper quite a lot. And yeah, but overall, quite a nice-ish uh, has this nice kickstand so you can place it. It's a red, it's a gray. Cool multimeter. And that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching and until the next one. Bye bye!